Hello everyone, Ronnie Dangerfield's cousin coming to you live via webcam from Breaking Headline Parody Story Report Entertainment Show a Mark Anthony Strowman, a white racist sopranic hate monger is in the Texas penitentiary on death row awaiting legal injection. He's a 41 year old white racist sopranic uh, shave bowl tattoos all over him he's a hater and uh, he uh, after 9-11 he claimed his sister was on the top floor of uh, one of the federal buildings that uh, got blew up by the Middle Eastern people that skyjacked the airplane and uh, he went on a hate monger revenge and he was shooting Middle Eastern or people that uh, had these um, gas stations and supermarkets and stuff like that. He would come in and rob them and shoot them in the head. And one of, one of the Middle Eastern people that he shot and uh, almost blinded him or he's partially blinded and when I was shot in the face is uh, as uh, campaigning for his uh, for him not to be executed on death row he believes that uh, he should not be executed he says he forgave him he said his Bible teaches him to forgive those who trespass against us. Uh, anyways, I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. Y'all know my cousin. Uh, I want to tell you my disclaimer before I go much further. I've got more about this story. It's a real entertaining story. But I want to tell you my disclaimer so I can continue to put on my shows uh, an independent survey company has rated me as the greatest entertainer in the world. Anytime you see one of my shows, even if I put on a bad show, it's gonna be the greatest show you've ever seen in your life. But unfortunately, you know, you're living in a new modern age white man world, and I've got to give you my disclaimer so I can continue to do my work. But anyways, my disclaimer goes something like this. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody story report entertainment show is a parody. That means don't take anything I say seriously. Don't take anything I say personally. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first, and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. If you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off of my channel immediately. Anyways, I told you nice people, I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. I'm going to get back to this story about this <coughs> Mark Anthony Strowman. He's a, he's a white racist, sopranic hate monger. He's got tattoos, bald head, tattoos all over him. He's a, he's a freak. He's a freak. But anyways, he's a, hate, he's a hater. He's a hater. He's a real hater. But I want to tell you who I am. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. Of course, he's deceased. After he died, it seemed like the monkey jumped on my back about three times as bad. Uh, everywhere I go, I don't get respect. I, I went to get me a pack of cigarettes, and a bitch boy carded me for ID, and I'm 63 years old. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. And then I, I went to get me a six-pack of beer. And another bitch boy was behind the counter, and he carded me for my ID. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. 
Then I went to a family restaurant to get me something to eat. I went to pay my bill. Beach Boy was charging me full price. I said, hey, pal, I want my senior citizens discount. It's Beach Boys everywhere, everywhere I go. It's a Beach Boy, Beach Boy, Beach Boy. But he carded me for ID. I, I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My, my wife turned gay on me. I tell you, I don't get no respect. And one day my wife and I was fixing to make love and she was on the bed, her legs were like crossed like a four. She was just in a deep stare. I go, honey, what's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, hell with it, neither can I. So we didn't even make love that day. People say, Ronnie Dangerfield cousin, why would your wife leave you for a black dude? I go, well, I guess she wanted to get back with her own color. But anyways, the pressure, there was a lot of pressure on me. It's not easy being a Dangerfield. It's really not. It's just, I don't get no respect. It's a lot of pressure on me. So I, I went on the internet to freeformphonesex.com. All it is there is a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She'll say over the phone, I'll fantasize having sex with you. I'll suck on your neck, French kiss you, sick, suck on your ears. I'll let you go in the front door, back door, side door. I don't care, I love it all. I said, damn, that got my dingling excited. So I called another service, a live service, and she said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. Then I needed to generate some money, so I went to free buy sell trade anything dot com. On this free buy sell trade anything dot com, you can put anything you have for sale on there. And as soon as you put it on there one time, it'll repost on the Mars calendar. It'll just keep reposting free until you decide to take it off. You just take it off one swipe of the pen. It's free to put it on there, free to look, but my brother bought a 55 Chevy back in 1955 for $1,850. I put it on free buy, sell, trade, anything.com, and I sold it for $3,000, so I didn't think I could beat that. But anyways, my wife and I was having a lot of problems. Uh, she was a bully. She was bullying me. She kept bullying me because, you know, she's black. And uh, she kept saying I was disrespecting her. I was disrespecting her, I was violating her, abusing her. Those are black words, you know. Just everything a white person says, as she would say, you disrespecting, you violating, you abusing. And what the fuck is going on with you? And I would say, sweetie, honey, dear, baby. And she would say, oh, you talking down to me? You disrespecting? You disrespecting? I said, who appointed you as an authority over me to tell me that I can't say sweetie, honey, dear, baby? There's like 300 words she didn't want me to say because I was white. She didn't want me to say your president, y'all, us, them, dude, buddy, homeboy, roadie, burnt toast, uh, uh, watermelon, cantaloupe. You, what kind of chicken you like? Everything I said, she would say, "Oh, you disrespecting, you violating me, you abusing me, you violating, you disrespecting, you racist, you racist, you racist." I said, "Hell, you racist! You want more rights to me because you're black and you want to bully me? Hell no! You ain't gonna bully me." But uh, we we went on and we went on and got a divorce. And I went on that free buy, sell, trade, anything dot com. And I got a personal section, and I put ad. I was looking for a young girl to go to church with me, go pray with me, and a young white Caucasian girl answered ad. And we're engaged to be married. We make love three or four times a day. She wants to have my baby. Everything's going good. I've I've learned there's something about black people. They're bullies, but. Uh, it's, uh, you know, if anybody has any criticism about my show, comments, or anything, I appreciate it if you type them underneath my show. But I think this, uh, this uh, Mark Anthony Strowman should be executed, put to death. That's my views. God bless everybody.